Guys, today I'm going to be doing a vegan egg for you and it looks pretty good. Hey guys, so today we'll be doing a vegan egg with molecular gastronomy, which I've played around with in a former video. And um, we're gonna be using the same ingredients, so which is the sodium alginate and the calcium lactate, and along with some agar too, to make this whole thing happen. The center of the egg is made actually with pureed squash and as usual for eggs, I added a little bit of black salt to it and um, the results look really, really good. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this recipe, so let's get started. Okay, so I started with my sodium alginate bath solution and this is the best way that I found is to kind of turn the blender on a little bit first and then slowly add it in and that way this thing doesn't like coagulate and then move to the bottom. Um, remember to use distilled water, it's afterwards just put it aside. Now I'm just gonna make my egg yolk. So I have about one and a quarter cups of squash that I've just cooked up a little bit. I added a half a teaspoon of calcium lactate and then just a pinch of um, black salt. And I'm just starting the blender up, but I'd need about, about a quarter cup of nut milk. Um, if it is too thick, just add a little bit more um, as you go. The thicker it is, the easier it is to make kind of big blobs like this, but the harder it is to kind of turn into a nice circular shape. So. You kind of have to find like a nice happy medium to that and then afterwards just stick these guys into uh, water while you are making the egg whites. Alrighty, so onwards to the egg whites. I have a half a cup of water, you can use rice milk, along with two grams of agar, and you just wanna mix that around, kind of bring it up to a light boil, and put a cover on it so that not too much of the liquid evaporates. And then uh, once that's done, turn the heat down to low. I'm gonna put in a pinch of black salt again, and then also put in about two thirds of a cup of um, plain soy yogurt or plain um, nut milk yogurt. And I leave the heat on because some Sometimes the coolness from the yogurt actually solidifies the agar. So I'm keeping it on low heat and then mixing it around just until it gets nice and smooth before I turn the heat off. So it's a good idea to give the mixture a strain before you're about to use it just because it can get lumpy um, in the process of cooking. So I'm basically freehanding this, just a couple tablespoons here and there and um, shaping it into what I think an egg would look like, which is actually not too hard. And um, you'll see that the mixture actually solidifies almost immediately as it touches the plate because the, the plate is actually cold. So you should be working pretty quickly. And if you start seeing lumps, um, just put the mixture back into the microwave and then strain out any lumpy bits. So now I'm just gonna add a little bit of the egg whites up on top as glue for the egg yolk. That looks so good. And um, if you guys aren't going to eat it within the day, I mean, you should, but um, wrap it up in some plastic wrap. Um, I actually put some water and some oil over it and it pretty much still looked okay the second day. I mean, really just imagine how many like Asian dishes or any dishes that has an egg that you can put uh, over this. I'll say that the, the egg whites were very much like the actual egg white, the texture was very similar. And then the egg yolk kind of just tasted like pureed squash, which was um, pretty good as well. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this recipe and that you will try it out uh, for yourself because really it's um, only those two ingredients that you actually uh, have to buy. 
As usual, if you wanna see more recipes like this, remember to hit that like and subscribe button, and I will see you guys again next time. Bye.